Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Your intuition, I feel like there's some kind of communication coming in here. Yeah, somebody here had a breakthrough. Yeah, they're hoping for a miracle here. <laughs> they are, they're hoping for a miracle. I kind of get, am feeling the energy of transformation here as well. Like this communication could change a lot. Um, yeah, fantasy, lies and secrets, spirituality. Um, I'm just feeling like this person is waking up. They're waking up. Um, all of all of the illusions are gone. They're, this is having an awakening almost to me, a spiritual awakening. I feel like, yeah, happiness, um, success, abundance. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is somebody who's waking up. They want to be happy again, okay? They want, they want union, love and unity. Um, I feel like you could be very abundant out here or they could be, you know, financially abundant. But abundance is like, a, I feel like this is an abundance of knowledge, I have to say. They're waking up. Their eyes are wide open here. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. It's a spiritual awakening. Um, messages, receiving the messages, you know, abundance isn't always about money, right? Um, this is about them having the answers and finally seeing things for what they are, finally. This is the ability to have your eyes wide open and know what's going on. Um, yeah, this is a breakthrough for this person at a soul level, okay? And it's, um, I feel like it's a divine connection here, as, as within, so without. I feel like, too, yeah, they've had to go within for this. And, you know, they're, and they're feeling very without you. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, um, but they know what it is that they want now. And this person's about to communicate, so get ready. They are really hoping for a miracle here. And I feel like, um, they're believing in miracles here. You know what I mean? Like I said, abundance is much more than money. This is at a, a spiritual level. They're believe it's this person is is a believer. I feel like you made them a believer. You know, yeah, in fate, destiny. Um, I feel like this person's been getting their karma, but look, uh, through it all, they're realizing who they are. Um, they're realizing who they're, this is a gain of knowledge. Yeah, that's their abundance. Their abundance is the knowledge, is the, um, eyes wide open, the ability to see what's really going on and, um, being made a believer by what they see. Okay. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could be a Gemini. I feel like this person was wishy about wishy washy about things in in the past. Maybe they didn't realize how to use their gifts. But this is somebody who um, they're realizing that um, not only were you a blessing in love, but they also have some spiritual abilities here. I'm feeling a lot of water. So you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or they could be. I've also got Taurus on the bottom of the deck here. I feel like this person is trying to, I want to say get their balance, but they're trying to ground themselves They're because they're, they've got a lot of knowledge coming at them now. They're, they, I feel like they're completely open to all of these downloads from Source, okay? They're completely open to it, so I feel like they're trying to remain, like, with both feet on the ground here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they have to steady themselves, okay? They have to steady themselves. Um, they could be getting downloads about, uh, like, needing to move to a different location or be an urge to move out of something. I feel, yeah, here's that cancer, that water energy, right? Um, extremely, this is a lot of intuition here. Um, so you could be a cancer or this person could be a cancer. I felt that water. It's, um, and I feel like all of this knowledge is coming to them like a flood. It's just rushing in and they're trying to, they're like, I can see somebody trying to like, hold on here, you know, keeping themselves stable. 
right, in a stable position, you know, trying to, yeah, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay, I've got, I'm looking deeper into everything here, gut feeling, research, this person could be doing a lot of researching of these abilities that they're getting, or researching some of the messages that they're getting, um, they're it definitely looking into things a lot deeper now. You know, you can, this person is seeing through the matrix. All right, you get me? They're seeing things at a deeper level, a spiritual level, the way the divine wants them to see things. Um, this is a major breakthrough. They're breaking through the matrix here. They're waking up. Their eyes are wide open. They get it. They're looking at their surroundings, their family, friendships, people in their community and they're they're not vibing at that level anymore this person now feels like the need or they're being spiritually led to leave from wherever they are now and go to someplace else <laughs> okay yeah they're being led to leave because they, they need to leave i feel like they need to leave a community of people behind there's a lot of people um, and they're seeing everything and everybody around them for who and what they really are. Like, their eyes are wide open. Like, there are no more illusions, okay? No more illusions, yeah. Self-mastery, boundaries. This person is now um, in the process of cutting all of these people out. Drawing the boundary lines, right? Mastering, um, self-mastery, that's like... Um, um, like trying to avoid temptation, not, not giving in to these people from their community. These people could be fighting with them, arguing with them, laying guilt trips on them. Why are you, why are you talking to me? Right? This is a, this is something they have to master is the ability to complete cycles and put an end to things and walk away. Yeah, I feel like this person is um, uh, there. They could have been avoiding leaving situations and people behind, but now these red flags, it, it, they've got their intuition, and they're open to it, and they're trusting in it, and they're believing in this now, okay? They are, yeah, they're, and they've, they're getting their confidence back. Okay, they're vibing at a completely different level now than any, everybody else in their life. I feel like you help them. This is a total transformation here. Uh, I feel like you help them um, to wake up, you know, open your eyes to what is going on. You could be a Sagittarius. I had Sagittarius on the bottom of the deck. Or people could just be thinking that this person is just being reckless and doing something impulsive. But no, this is a, this is a change at a soul level, okay? And once they, you know, once they have seen everything about everyone around them, they can't unsee it. You know, messages. Yeah, I feel like they're getting a lot of downloads right now. They've got this masculine has a lot of ancestors around them. Um, spirit guides trying to lead this person. I had one year at the bottom of the deck, so... Maybe they, it may take them a while to clear this energy out, or this has been, um, something happened maybe a year ago that started this process. It could have been something that you said or taught this person. Soulmate, best friends, peaceful soul family, and they're being told to move in a different direction. Because you know what? Um, the community that they're leaving behind, these are negative um, darker energies, okay, I feel, that are backwards thinkers. I like to call them backwards thinkers, right? Um, they don't, um, they did, now they don't have the same kind of faith. As soon as this person woke up and opened their eyes to everything um, and had this breakthrough, they leveled up in their spirituality. They started um, uh, vibing at a higher level. And I feel like the divine is urging this person to leave this community of people behind so that they can they're about to um 
start meeting new people and uh, they, I feel like they're they're being led back to you collective is really the feeling that I'm getting because you are their soul family you are at their vibe but they're gonna be um yeah they're coming to someone peaceful I feel like that's star energy over here I feel like you are helping to open this person up and um raise their vibrations and i feel like they're coming back to their healer but then either way the divine is telling them there's a whole you know you have a soul family that we're trying to lead you to people that are going to be vibing and more at your level yeah look a whole new community so a free thinking people what did i just say so this person's being led someplace else they're being led to move away to move away from the people that they've been around okay i'm feeling divine masculine energy or this could be your energy but take it how it resonates reverse the roles if you have to but i feel like this is all about a masculine completely opening their eyes are wide open they can see everything they can see past the matrix they can see the truth thank you they can see the truth of everything <laughs> I can't stress it enough secrets are revealed people's fakeness um, that's all revealed all any lies revealed anything done um, to try to break up a connection or done behind somebody's back it's all being revealed you know complete and utter clarity here too with truth this is like um the ace of swords in this deck okay so yes um and there i feel like this person is already making plans to like move like a house move a location change okay messages they keep getting messages lots of messages virgo energy your person could be dealing with a virgo you could be a virgo they could be getting messages about you. Yeah. And that behind the scenes, too, there's a lot of conflict, right? Fights, battles, disagreements, because people are trying to keep this masculine wherever they are. And these are toxic people, and they see that now. They're using their intuition here. Once again, I got cancer energy out here, Pisces. A lot of water it could be a very emotional time for your person but they're battling a lot of they literally are battling battling to break free from karmic energy negative people right um, a situation that they don't belong in they're they're literally fighting to break free from it okay there's a lot of people that are arguing with this person behind the scenes. They don't want your person to grow. They don't want this masculine to have their awakening. They don't want this masculine to see the truth. But it's already happening. Okay? Because I feel like it's just time for this masculine to open their eyes and elevate. And that's exactly what's going on right here. Okay? Here's where they open their eyes. Here's where you make them a believer or they're being made a believer. Here is where they, um, yeah, they got to fight to be free. They're trusting and believing. Mars, definitely a masculine energy. Strength and determination. This person is determined now to break free. I feel like, uh, look, they're standing strong. They're standing up for themselves. They're, they're high vibing and they're... Um, they're, they're taking a stand for what they believe in, and now they're a believer in this miracle, okay? Yeah, this is a masculine making a, taking a stand in their own life and, and with strength and willpower and determined um, to move forward to um, a, a more elevated community of people. And I feel like you, too, Yep, they're learning to love themselves. They're not codependent on anyone now. 
They don't, they, they have their energy back. They have, they're trusting in their intuition. Um, they're loving on themselves. They're seeing that they're worthy of a, a better life than being around toxic people. This masculine is waking up. That you could be dealing with an Aries, or you could be an Aries headstrong. That's what that is. That willpower, that willpower and determination of an Aries. Um, also, the Aries are very meticulous. So I feel like this person is um, paying attention to all the red flags, all the details. Right? Maybe doing their research as far as finding a new place to live. But this is somebody who's taking a stand in their life with great strength, and they're moving forward. Um, I feel like they're leaving all these people behind with a lot of erratic, compulsive energy. So there's people I feel that are going to be, um, yeah, but it's time. I feel like it's time to go. Um, I feel like these the people that they're leaving behind, they're fighting to keep hold on to this masculine with a lot of erratic, like, they're crazy. I feel like people, I'm seeing a lot of fighting. I'm seeing a lot of arguing. I'm seeing a lot of guilt trips. I'm seeing a lot, and it's an erratic behavior, 20 calls a day harassing them, that kind of thing. Um, and they don't stop. I feel like your person wants to apologize here. They want to apologize. I feel like some of you may not may not want that. Yeah, they're, you know what, they're making a decision. They're making a decision to, I feel like they're about to come and talk to you, but you have been their guide. You, you may not realize it, Collective, um, but you've been their guide. You help this person wake up and truly believe in miracles, okay? Yeah, if it's, I feel like this person's been cut out. Scorpio has the strongest cut-off game of, the, of all of the zodiac signs. And then I feel like you're saying no. You may not be talking to this person anymore. You could be a Scorpio. They could be a Scorpio. But this is the end. I feel like you've already cut this person out. And you may not want them back. But they want union. And they're headed towards you with determination. And I feel like this communication is destined to happen. So whether you want to talk to this person or not, because it's looking to me very strong that you do not want this person around you. You don't want to talk to them anymore. You're cutting this energy out. You're being silent. You're not speaking to them. You may even have this person blocked. This could be you blocking them off, okay? They're still coming forward because they're being... They're being led to you. And this is destined communication. Okay, so both of you, whether you, no matter what your decision, no matter what your decision, you both need to move forward, find a forward moving path on a life mission, whether it's together or separate. But I feel like this communication has to go down first. You could be getting all of this information coming to you in visions and your dreams. Okay, um, you may be noticing you could be thinking of something and then it's confirmed for you, like you actually see it or you hear the same word like immediately afterwards. Um, you could be seeing repetitive numbers, you know, 111, 222, right? Yeah, this, this person, I feel like they're coming towards you. You could be a Leo, you could be a Cancer. They're coming, it's, it's going to be your sign that this person is about to make their approach. And they are, they're being led straight to you. It is part of their mission. It's, it's almost like it feels like a test. They've got to be able to face you um, in order to get through this cycle properly, like correctly or something. Weight, self-evaluation, self-control. Um, I feel like this person waited way too long. Waited, yeah, they waited way too long in a karmic situation. They were following their, their south node. Now this person is doing like a 180 and coming back to you um, in their north node. 
but you, this could be like runner and chaser. Now you're the runner and this person is the chaser. That's pretty much what this is. You know, it really is. No matter how, with or without this card, it's looking to me like they're going to be the runner. Or, sorry, they're going to be the chaser. And now you're the runner. Give me just one more for the collective. But yeah, they know they need to, I feel like they need to apologize. They want your forgiveness. And that's like the test, right? So this person's about to approach you, man. All right. They're making like a straight shot to you. Thief, yeah, I feel like you don't trust this person. You see them as your enemy. Full moon. This could be happening around the full moon. I thought it was tomorrow I because I got my dates wrong. <laughs> so it's the 7th, okay? The full moon in Virgo is on the 7th. Um, but yeah, um, the full moon energy goes on. For, for me, it feels like about four days. So in this next week, I feel like you're going to get this communication, okay? Truly. Because it's destined. Your person is like they're being made to do this. They're being forced to do this. Whether you want to talk to them or not, <laughs> that's your choice. You get to make that decision, but they have to approach you. Okay? Um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen. You're going you're gonna to see this person as a thief, an enemy, someone who's selfish and dishonest. You don't trust them anymore. That's why you don't really want them around you yet. And you you freed yourself from this um, situation already, okay? But your person needs to pass a test. Um, they need to they need to show up for themselves here, act independent, um, and speak the truth. So yeah, you're gonna get a phone call, a text message, something that's going to tell you that this person is coming, okay? Oh, collective, get ready. Um, let's see what the, the love, the romance angels have to say. All right, what messages do you have for the collective? I don't know what's going to happen, so for it looks to me like some of you don't want this person back. Religious factors, yeah. yeah I feel like you both had to learn a lot about yourselves, about um, your independence, your spirituality. You know, you both had to um, come to the point where you just allow yourselves to be led. And, I, and you both had to go through your awakening. I, I feel like uh, the divine, um, this may be a, a, like a high-level soulmate connection here, like a twin flame. It is possible. Um, if that's the case, the divine had to get you guys at the same level, matured, um, like, as far as, like, um, relationship-wise, right? Like, what is truly going to work for you and what isn't. And having the ability and the strength to use discernment and leave behind what doesn't work for you, right? Um, I feel like you both, the divine had to get you guys both on the same page, spiritually, in order for this to be a success. And now your person is having this awakening. They're seeing everything clearly. The divine is leading them in. Um, and uh, you may not be up for it, collective. Honestly, you may not be up for it because, you know, um, yeah, you're going to be wondering if they're, if they have any addictions. This person could have had addictions in the past or if not, you're worried if they're codependent on somebody else or if someone's depending on them. Are they single? You're going to be wondering if this person's even single. You don't trust them either. I feel like you don't trust a word that comes out of their mouth. Chemistry. You do have a lot of chemistry between you, but this wanted to come out in reverse. And I feel like um, maybe for some of you, the... Maybe the chemistry is there, but the flame is gone because of the lies and deceit and betrayal. But I feel like your person really wants to heal this. If you have children, this person's going to want to spend time with the kids. Um, they want to heal the family issues. 
you know, passion. They want to reignite that flame. I'm telling you, they unrequited love. Um, I, yeah, they've been away for too long. And like I said, now they may feel all this passion for you, but you may not feel the same way. You may not feel the same way anymore. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, because you don't trust them. Yep, yeah, because this situation is calling for you to have faith, but how, you don't trust this person. You trust, you. here's the thing, you do have faith. You trust the process, and you trust where the divine is leading you to. And you know, this is what you trust. You trust that new love is going to come and find you, that you will be loved the right way by somebody who can love you the right way. And commit to you. And I feel like a lot of you are re releasing this ex for a new soulmate connection. Okay? Who's going to treat you right off the bat and give you a commitment. Because you know what? This ex has deceived you. There's They, they were wearing a, a false mask in the past. Or they were fake to you. I feel like though thinking about... Thinking about your person's energy is calling both of these people in, your past person and somebody new. But yeah, Collective, I see you actually focusing on new love and being loved the right way. Um, that, but here's the thing, I mean, even if this is your twin flame, you don't have to be with your twin flame. I feel like you both triggered each other um, to start a soul journey, and you both taught each other very valuable lessons. I feel like you've both learned a lot, and this masculine is on their path, and you are, have already been on your path, and, you know, if this person comes back, you don't have to be with them. You could, you know, you don't have to. I feel like the whole point of this connection was to trigger you both to go through a very um, life-changing journey, okay, which you did. And you it's a solo journey. You both had to go through it alone. So, you know, whether you take this person back or not, just know how much this journey has changed them and how much you have actually touched their life, okay? Okay?